Well, we better get over. We're coming up to what is this, Dillon Summit, Colorado? Boy, they must have a lot of ski resorts around here. bright and sunny yet it's snowing back up to 9,200 feet. Frisco, Brickenridge. Nine thousand two hundred and thirty seven feet, thirty six feet. It's very expensive to live up here.
Harper, seven miles, seven minutes. Vale, 24 minutes. Temperature is about 30 degrees according to blue. The good thing about this is uh, the snow hits the ground, it's just wet. It doesn't accumulate. That's kind of nice. And it should get better as we descend more. Officially, I have now only two hours left to drive. Roughly about a hundred miles from where I am. So what would be a hundred miles from here? that little jeep so I get over nicely done there blue Let's give them some flashers and blinkers. So what do you think, Blue? What do you think of the Rockies? You like it? I like it very much. By the way, a little bit of an update. Blue is now at 99,000 miles. 99,000 miles. 99,370 miles. And this is the highest elevation blue has ever flying. There goes another chain law sign that is not flashing. That is this. a beautiful sign. Look at the size of that mountain. Oh 
back it down, Lou, back it down. McLean, I believe McLean only McLean only receives at night, I believe. This is kinda annoying. Oh I wish I could pull over at that rest area, say take some pictures. God be the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. Oh, look at those people. I don't know, you probably can't see it because I could barely see them on my naked eye but they're actually skiing down that's pretty cool all right Vale is 19 miles There you go. They got snow skis all over the place here. They even got those hype, what is it called? Half pipe for snowboarding. Blue climb. Let's back off, Blue. get to pass Walmart.
this is your chance now, Blue. Show her what you got, Blue. Show McLean what you got. Come on. Giddy up. like to once again remind myself and everyone give thanks to Don Swan and to Ron and his lovely bride for uh, donating the uh, equipment Ron thank you for the camera and everything else that came with it but mostly thank you for the heart thank you for your thank you for your kindness above all and you too dear Don Don sent a uh, memory card and actually Don sent a Walmart gift card which I bought a memory card and a tripod. Without their generous donation, this video would not be possible. So once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Matt Farber. Matt, I hope you're doing all right. I know you're going through some tough times. I am sorry I could not get to your comments. Hang in there, uh, Matt. Hang in there. Remember, Matt, all things work good those who are in Christ on the gear shift. Man, that would have been really nice. Vail Pass Summit, 10,662. Tom says 10,712 feet. Vehicles over 26, 45 miles an hour. We better back it down. Yeah, look at the amount of snow they got here. Lower gears the next eight miles. I mean, there's got to be a point where they no longer can push the snow. They're going to have to snow plow or snow blower the snow. That looks like a snow blower went through here, right? Not a snow plow. Must 
be one of those really giant snowblower. Seven percent grade. Wow, that's look at the snow. Yeah, that's pretty thick. I don't think I'm gonna have enough memory card to do all these videos and I seriously doubt that I'm gonna be able to upload this tonight I don't think I'm gonna have a 4G network anywhere Local time here is uh, 11.36 Mountain Time. It is 12.38, well, 12.36 Central, my time. So I got less than, uh, what is it, 58 minutes left to drive. But according to Sandy, we st I still have two hours and 44 minutes left to drive. Confusing, right? Okay, what about uh, how far are we? Uh, we are at 916 miles to Brea, California. Okay, how many of you out there had uh, unfortunate, unfortunate experience of using a runaway truck ramp? I never have. Geez, you can't even see where it is. By the way, I'm only uh, I'm only tapping the brakes once in a very great while. Mostly, it's the Jake brake that's keeping us steady. I need Toby's phone. Toby, I need your phone. I bet you got 4G network here. Elevation is at 9,300 feet. 9,324 feet, actually. Oh, I was... 
I was hoping to go through here with my wife. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, my wife is scheduled to go with me this June. And I am going to beg and beg and beg Travis to send me this way. That way my I can show this to my wife. The, pro <laughs> the problem with my wife is uh, when whenever she uh, she rides with me in the truck, she likes to sleep. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing sleeping? You're supposed to be looking out there. She says, well, I'm enjoying the sleep in the truck as much as I'm enjoying the view. <laughs> Yeah, whenever my wife rides in a vehicle, that's her sleeping tablet. That's her sleeping pill. Even in a motorcycle. 30 miles down the road, and she's back there snoring, banging her helmet against my helmet. At first, when she started riding with me, I keep complaining, what are you doing tapping my head for? Not realizing that she was bobbling his, her head against my helmet. <laughs> No, wow. Can you imagine the amount of sand they use up here? Wait a minute, I think I said that a while ago. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, there goes a couple of salt shakers right there. Veil, here we go. Veil, 8,150 feet. Tom says 877. Seven. And I think it's safe to say that after this point, we're pretty safe as far as winter weather concern. There goes a broke down truck. Yeah. I saw that guy over there at the scale a while ago. So welcome to Vail, Colorado, everybody. Noise ordinance. Are you kidding me? With all these hills and stuff, you don't want us to use our brake? I mean, engine brake? Must be the uh, rich influence around here. Alright, Blue, we're at 65 miles an hour, Blue. Let's go, Blue.
by the way I'm using the Jake brake right now but I bet you guys can't hear it here I'll even open the window nothing right Elevation right now is 8,400 feet. Chain station. That must be where they lead the chains. Where they deposit the chains. I hope you guys have enjoyed this trip as much as I have. It has been a while for me since I've been through here. You know, as much as, as much as how beautiful this place is, and that we should enjoy it, and, but we are never to worship it. We are never to worship the creation. We had to wor worship and give thanks to the Creator. many people worship the creation rather than the creator look at all that ski lift over there I don't know if you can see that got enough I hope I've got enough memory space on my head cam here so I could give you guys a better look ah oh, this is I've always loved going through here there are buildings and houses here and hotels are very very unique very distinct